Let's see if that works. I have a feeling I'm going to echo. You hear me? Is it echoing? Okay. It's echoing on my laptop because my laptop's picking it up. So I just don't want to talk super loud. <laughs> I'll reverb. Okay. Yay. So I'll give everybody a few minutes to hop on here. We had 52 people. I can actually shut my sound off on my laptop. So you still can hear me, right? I shut my sound off on my laptop. Can you still hear me? need any more stress. Don't you guys think I have enough? Yes, please smash that like button. Show me some love. <laughs> Thank you for everybody coming back. I appreciate it. I don't see Brian yet. He must have went to go play poker instead. Right, Shell? What else would he be doing, right? <laughs> so this was the flower pop that we did last time we were here. I'm sorry, Joella. Yeah, I don't know what I did, Larry. I got it to work. So I was just going to be like, okay, it's, it's moving when I talk, so we're good. There's Brian. I guess we can start now. <laughs> uh, just want to let everybody know that if you've been following me with the puppies, they doubled their birth weight today. So they are all over 14 ounces now. Little chunky monkeys, let me tell you. They're huge. So, even though Ellie's not being mama, um, she is letting them eat. She's very protective. She's always by them. Um, we put them in a crate last night so that she can see them. Um, at first, I was scared because she was pulling the blanket that they're on. And I thought, okay, she's going to bring them towards her. And then I told Alan we need to roll up some towels and put them around the edges because I don't trust her alone for like one minute. And um, she finally stopped doing that. She's still nesting, which the vet said is normal. My, my thought is that she's going to get hold of those babies and go hide them on me. We had three puppies. Um, two girls, one boy. Lily, Poppy, and Twig. I love all three of them, and their weights are only by a point one or two different, so they're averaging about 14 ounces, 14.4 ounces. They are adorable. I just put a video up on um, Instagram of them with their little chunky bellies, but they're all eating and doing really well, really well. But I'm not giving up on Ellie yet. She has been smelling them as they're eating. I kind of keep my hand on that dish towel and I let her smell. And if she gets too far, I push her back. So I'm just, I'm not there yet. <laughs> I think I'll be more comfortable when their eyes are open and they start acting like puppies. And then she'll realize that they're not rodents. And I'm, that's what I'm thinking as she's thinking they're rodents or something. It is not Tabitha, Becca, and Eric, Brian. <laughs> but as long as they're drinking her milk, I'm, I'm happy about that. Because I did not want to have to bottle feed three babies. 
No, it's not, Brian. Maybe in your book, but not in my book. <laughs> so I'll give you a close-up of this one. Got some pretty cells in there. The knockoff does um, give off a violet interference hue. But I had so much fun making this. I really did. I didn't think I was going to be like a... Um, a flower pot person, but you know what? We're doing another one tonight. <laughs> I am not caught up on sleep, no. I go to bed at 3.30 and I'm up at 9.30 with them. Alan does take three feedings for me a day, so he's feeding them now. And then he'll feed them again about 11, 11.30. I'll feed them at 2.30, 3 o'clock and go to bed. He gets the next one because he's getting up for work. And then I have them all day. So then I have like three more feedings. But I don't mind it. It's fun to sit and watch them eat. It's just the taking them and stimulating them and doing all that stuff um, that's time consuming. And the bigger they get, the more, um, oh, how do I want to say it? They don't, they are not as uncomfortable in my hands now. So they're taking longer to get them to go poo-poo. <laughs> but I did call the vet, and she said, as long as they poo twice a day, you're fine. I was thinking they had to poo every time they ate. So we're good, though. Never lost any weight. That's what gets me. I'm like, yes, we're doing something right. <laughs> okay, so we're going to do a long one. I'm going to put the color down. I'm going to swipe it across this way. And then I'm going to blow some bigger ones. We're going to kind of trail it. Um, these are going to be probably five petal, six petal flowers instead of just the three pops that I did on the other one. And I'm using some colors that I love um, that are not basically flower colors, but I wanted um, something that was very neutral. So I'm going to be using Champagne Shimmer. None of these have silicone. Champagne Shimmer. Uh, Coral Reef Metallic. I'm going to put a little antique copper in there for contrast. And that's our, that's our red metallic contrast. I will be using our Gold Rush. Um, I am going to put some dark chocolate in there. That's going to be our deeper contrast. So I'm going to put that on the bottom. And we're using just white... Uh, Creative Inspirations White with no silicone. And that's going to be our swipe color. Okay. So, let me get the brown down first because I don't want that on top. So I'm just going to squirt some color on. Because we're going we're gonna to mix it all up anyway. I must have a bug in there. I'm going to have to go look. I'm going to have to fish that out. Yep, it was a chunky. Aww. Yeah, we're going to be doing that with Ellie, too. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to put... I think I'm going to put the gold next because we don't want that to take over either. I got a little bit left in my cup from filling my uh, bottle. So I'm going to get that on there. Then I'll add more out of my bottle. I don't want to waste anything. That was a good amount of paint that was still left in that cup. Hi, Julie E. <laughs> okay. All right, so we got our gold down. Next, I'm going to do... Hmm, I think I'm going to do the champagne shimmer next. Because I don't want that on top either. This is just a little bit of... To mute down... 
when we blow them out. I'm not too worried about getting enough paint here because we're going to pull it, but I do want to make sure I get enough up here. All right, let's do let's do the coral reef or the anti copper first before we do the coral reef. So I definitely want to see this show up. So I am going to make sure I get enough of that on there. And then our coral reef. Any questions yet, guys? Before I start getting involved in this. <laughs> I, I got a book in this one too. I need to start painting more. Oh, it came out. I gotta get it now. Yes, it is a bright amount of paint. Now I forgot where it did that. Maybe I'll find it when I start moving it around. Okay, so now I'm going to take my palette knife. I'm just going to kind of blend a little bit. Not a lot. But before I swipe it, I am going to tilt it because I like the way the other one looks on the sides, but... It could have been prettier. And I'll show you that after we get this one done, if I remember. I'm, I've got fried brain right now, guys. I have things I'm working on in the house, on my bed, while I'm keeping an eye on her because she doesn't want to leave the puppies. Trying to entertain Finn because he feels unloved and unwanted right now. It's always like, no, Finn, you gotta go. Go play with Eddie. <laughs> Feel bad. All right, let me tilt this a little bit. Since we have a nice, good amount of paint on there. Get going. I'm just going to move it just a little bit, guys. Because I don't want to end up with all that, uh, the sides not covered completely. And then I have to pull it down and it's not as pretty. I'm just going to take a little bit of what came off to get these sides down here and probably up here too. So if you, uh, um, if you're wanting to get brush posse paints, they're on sale until the 4th and that's the last sale before Christmas I'm hoping I have time tomorrow to put some tumblers in my Etsy shop I have them all finished and ready to go so I just have to photograph them and do the listings All right, so let me run it by you guys. Monday night, I'm going to do the puppy weigh-in, show them off, talk about the puppies for a bit. 
How would you guys feel about me doing an ornament sale? Instead of me listing tons of ornaments in my Etsy shop, this way I can just do a few sets in the Etsy shop and sell all the rest as singles. So I'll be selling them for $8 each, but you have to pay the shipping. But, you know, we can always get it where it's a uh, regional A box, which is cheaper than regular shipping. Just a little bit. Cool. So, Monday night at 9 o'clock, if you want to get ornaments from me, I will have them available. It's going to be like a fire sale. Um, I'll show them. And you guys just tell me sold and the number that you want so it's the first person that posts it will get that ornament so don't hesitate if there's something that you really want but i'll talk about that monday night too make sure people aren't lagging too bad so that they can get them if they want them okay So here we go. I have myself a piece of acetate paper. And this one I know fits the width of the canvas. Oop. <laughs> Let me wipe that off real quick because I flopped it. Because, you know, that's how today's going to be. Okay, we're good. We're good. Better move my mouse too because I'll get paint on it. All right, I'm going to place it down on the white just like that. And we're going to drag it across. Hopefully, I can bring enough white. I think I'm going to run out. But that's okay, because we're going to put flowers in there. So there we go. I am going to tilt it just a smidge towards the white edge. So we don't have quite so much white down there. Oh my gosh, I'm making a mess. What else is new? Okay, that should work. I'm going to get my edges up here before I start. Because it didn't roll over. The nice thing with these, though, you can always paint your sides if you don't like the way they look. I've seen them done with the sides painted. They look very pretty. Or if you frame it, you're not going to see it anyway. All right, let's torch those bubbles. We've got a few. I think I may have found that piece I was looking for too. I did. <laughs> So I have some black cell activator. This is Amsterdam Oxide Black mixed with Australian Floetrol. It's about four to one on the black. It's a little thicker where the white is three to one. Seems good. If it's, uh, if it's not blooming out like we want it to, we can always add just a little bit more Aussie Floetrol. Okay, I'm going to go, ooh, I want to put one there because I want to break up that big pile of white. I want to make sure you guys can see that edge. I better move you down a smidge. There. 
Now you can see. Now you can see it. So I'm going to put a dollop like I do for a bloom because I want to have enough to do um, the blooms. I'm going to try with the airbrush first, but I may end up getting out my little mini blower. And that's pretty. I'm just hoping my cord's long enough. So before I go to the next one, I'm going to go ahead and, oh my gosh, that's a big skewer. Just bring it in a little bit. Do just a little modifying. That center will continue to open up, so. Oh, it got a little blurry there, didn't we? Well, I can see we're going to have problems with that now. Sheesh. That's weird. Um, let's see if we can get Mr. Vane to work. So if he focuses on the mirror, which is dirty, great. Well, it was clear for a second. That's better. Okay. So I'm going to start one here. Open them up a little bit more because they're a little skinny. Thank you, Janice. Those colors are really good together. They really are. I got a lot of, oops. <laughs> I need to go back to bed. I got a lot of brown on that one, but this one's really pretty. Okay. So I'm going to keep going with my little trail. So I'm going to go here next. Let's hope I didn't go too far away. Okay. So I want to go one here. Trying to make those petals just a little bit wider. Because I think the mini blower would probably push it out too far. I have a little more control with my airbrush because I'm used to it. Thank you, Victoria. I appreciate you. Hmm. Let's do one here. Thank you, Ellie. That means Daddy's taking them to the restroom to clean them. She's having a little hissy fit. Just 
amazes me how much she cares about them, but she doesn't want to mother them. We'll give her time. She may come around yet. I'm not giving up on her. <laughs> Trusting her, but I'm not giving up on her either. I try to be like alert when I'm feeding them because I don't want her to have that one opportunity when I'm not looking, you know, or my guard is down. Uh oh. Bye, Susan. Have fun. All right, so let me look at this for a second. Cause I'm looking at the lengthways too. I think we'll just fill in a little bit down here. So we'll do one here. No, I don't think she's afraid that the pups will hurt us at all. I think she's more worried about us hurting her pups. She, um... Because she lets me handle them. I mean, I give them little kisses on the top of their head. I don't get anywhere near their faces, though, because you never know what you're carrying. I don't want to get them sick or anything. But she likes to watch me baby them. And I tell her, look at your baby. She's so pretty. It's kind of sad. I really wish she would have been a better mama. But that's okay. And we are switching vets through all of this because my vet was useless. Okay. All right, so I'm coming this way. I think I'm gonna put one here. I can't even leave a mark, can I? One there. Let's see what that one looks like before I decide where I'm gonna put the other ones. Because we can do some little halfsies and fill in too. So, on a positive note, uh, the check came to get my floor fixed. So, that's that's here. <laughs> Called my flooring guy. Tell him that the money's here. So, whenever he can fit me in his schedule and get that flooring done. I told him I want it when Alan's home, though, so I can sit with the dogs. Okay, let's see. I'm going to do one here, maybe a halfsy there, and then I think I'm going to put some little pieces in there. Thanks, Julie. Enjoy your dinner. Julie, I posted pictures of the puppies in the Parash Posse group. And we'll be, I'll have them out here again on Monday. Or they're way in. And they're, way you guys see them, they got black noses now. And their paw pads are black. Oh my goodness, they've changed so much already.
They're my little baby polar bears. Too cute. All right, so let's see. I'm going to look at it again. I'm going to put one here. And then we're heading up north again. <laughs> okay. And I don't care if this petal goes over the side because that will fill in. Whoops. So you gotta be careful with that airbrush. It's very bossy. All it did was uh, give me a spot here, but that's going to come up anyway. Okay. Um, I want something here and something here and maybe something here. Little halvesies, little ones. The little three petal droppers. So we don't need as much black. Push up. So I'm going to bring that to a point. So I know I have to touch it there. I'm not liking that right there. Let's see if I can push some more black up there. A little too much. They aren't little after all, are they? <laughs> now I almost want to push it that way. I have to keep staring at it. do that so much. I walk away from something, go back and look at it, try to change it, and then sometimes I wait too long and the paint doesn't move and it's like, well, scrap that. <laughs>
that white is very thick for some reason up here on the top so it's harder to um, get a good petal shape but I'm not giving up yet quitters never quit right <laughs> Quitters never win. I always say quitters never quit. Uh, let's see. That's such an eyesore to me. Maybe I can fix it. Fatima. You know, it's weird because I can look at this way going down and it looks better than this way. <laughs> hmm. So that could be the bottom. All right, let me trail some black through and see how I'm gonna connect it all. I'm not gonna add any leaves because if I put green in there, we're gonna get really muddy. Are you twisting your head, Shell? <laughs> I could do this, wait here. So you can look at it this way. Except this flower would be upside down, but I could fix that. All right, you ready? Now I'm gonna turn you around. <laughs> or you can have it this way. What do you think, white at the top or white at the bottom? Free ride, guys, free ride. <laughs> Fix what spot, Bri? That one? white at the bottom so I can fix that one and Brian wants me to fix that one okay so we can fix this we can blow out make that a little petal little flower and then this one I'll blow it out since that's gonna be white at the bottom um, we can have the flower going out that way so one touch of black on that should fix that one where are you guys when I'm making paintings <laughs> do I have to paint everything live so you guys can tell me what to do? That would be fun. There are some people that do that, though. They paint live all the time. They don't always ask for suggestions, but they do paint live. That's going to open up here, so I'm not worried about that little black piece there. Oh, that's true, Bri. I'm sorry. <laughs> I like messing with stuff, Bri. All right, just a little bit of black here. I know you do. I love you too. Bring that one down. Open these up just a little bit. Fill up some space. Yeah, I did like it better going this way. So I must have reverse vision tonight. That will open up. I'm not going to worry about that. This is opening up here. These all look pretty good. <laughs> Hi, 
I wish I could do lives all the time. And I don't like to show my face when I do lives because I'm usually in my PJs. I'm very careful not to get paint on me. I don't think I have been... I've been putting, taking showers and baths and putting clean PJs on for the past week. Because I'm not going anywhere. I might as well be comfy. You know, when you got the puppies to deal with. Alright, so I don't want to use Cell Activator Black because we may end up with um, some selling going on when I push it. I, want, I think I'm going to open those two up just a little bit more. I'm really worried. Let's see if I can do it. Yeah, it doesn't even want to move. There you go. That's how set in that paint is. It's barely moving. There. I feel better about that. Hi, Patty. Thank you. <laughs> Lurk away, honey. I have lots of lurkers. Hi, Rochelle. I have a lot of friends that watch and don't chat. They don't, and, and this is out to them. Join the chat and meet some new friends. These are my friends. <laughs> okay. So now I get to play with it a little bit. So I'm going to dip my palette knife in. Now I have to decide which way I'm going to go. So I brought my line down. I want to see if it's going to sink. But I'm dipping the tip so that I have enough on there to keep going. I'm going to bring that one to here. So we're going to try to connect these just a little bit. Should have brought that one into this one, but that's okay. I don't mind that being there. I'm actually going to come back in it. And bring it down to that spot. Yeah, the colors are awesome. I'll show you up close when I get done with this because you, you, can, you can't see them as much as I can. When I look at the camera, you're not seeing what I'm seeing. Okay. So this is just going to have a little piece here. that so I'm gonna go heavy on this one bring it into that now do I want to push that out or do I want it to dangle off of the vine all right let's try this And I'm going to build a vine for that. Going this way. I got to go a little heavier here. Um, this is a canvas, Bonnie. 8 by 24. Or is it 8 by 20? I think it's 8 by 20. Sorry. Okay. I'm 
It is an edge canvas from Jerry's Artorama. Oh, it's 8 by 24 I was right the first time. I wanted something long. Make it look like it's behind that flower. All right. I think I'm done monkeying. Just want to do one little thing. Well, maybe a couple. I don't think anything's going to come up on those. Well, that one I went pretty deep. Okay, let me turn my camera again. Gosh, I can't even fit the whole thing in. But there's the top. Coming down to the bottom. I don't like this. <laughs> now that I'm seeing this, I don't like this. I think we need another flower here. What do you guys think? It looks unbalanced to me. It's like I would start it up here. A tiny one and have it come off of that have it come off of this flower into that little tiny one I don't think that would well I, I know what you're saying Brian so that looks like they're all coming together with that but I just think it's still too white and too bare because I could still do that if I put a small one there. Let's see what will happen because my white's starting to dry so I need to do it now. Now I guess if I can get my airbrush to stretch that far. I may have to move this painting up a little bit guys, sorry. At least to an angle so I can get it. I think I'm going to have that one go over the edge. I always say, all right, I'll go right back at it. Because as artists, we can never leave anything alone. Okay. Now, let's play a little bit. So I can bring this to this. Well. stuck my dirty glove on my face. Now I know I have paint. That's better, I think. It's better than that white gob that was there. <clears throat> Does 
does it need anything else? Because, see, this is where you can get in trouble, too. Because I think I can add... I think I should leave it alone. Okay, I think I'm good. I think I'm happy with that. So there's the top. There's the bottom. I almost want to blow these over the sides, but I know... Oh, I've got more paint on me now. I know I don't have enough to get these to go. But I could push that one petal. I gotta quit because I'll, I'll, I'll ruin it. <laughs> it's getting dry here. And I don't want to. I don't want to mess with it too much. Just that flower looks funny. Um, let me play with it a little bit more. Oh my goodness, Christina, put your put your skewer down. <laughs> Stop it. No. <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. I'm not messing. I'm not going to mess with it anymore. I'm good. So let me get you back where you belong. Oh my goodness. I'll bring you down a smidge. And then I'm going to bring you up close so you can see it. Okay. We'll start at the bottom. Since we now know that that's the bottom. So we got all of those colors popping through on there. I even see the antique copper, which is amazing. Because I really thought it would sink. But that flower right there is really pretty. Still not sure about that vine. I didn't get anything come up through there when I blew in there, so I'm not going to mess with it. So for your homework, <laughs> I want everybody to make one of these and post your pictures in the Parash Posse. That's your homework for December. Like you don't have enough stuff to do, right? <laughs> so yeah, I'm happy with it. So we will hang it. This will be the top. This will be the bottom. Your dog ate it. <laughs> That's funny, Brian. Uh, I would love to see you guys make one of these. Go back and watch the video. And a lot of you have these colors. They don't have to be Paraj Posse paints, you know. Don't tell me you don't have the paints. Because that's not going to work. <laughs> um, try one. I would love to see you guys do one. They're not that hard. It's really quite easy. It's just having control when you blow. So if you don't want to use an airbrush, you can try your little blower with the attached small attachment that came with it very gently 
Don't go hog wild. Go far away. Work your way in. Or use a straw. I mean, it's not, you know, try. I would love to see you guys do one of these. Really, I do. I had fun with that first one, so that's why I wanted to do another one. But, you know, I thought we'll start reviewing for the month of December. Um, this is a 8x24 canvas. So make sure you spray your back of your canvas, too. So when you're nice and tight, so when you do your swipe, you won't puddle in the middle. Thank you, Kathleen. Hi, Kathleen. <laughs> so, yeah. So, next week, um, I'm going to start mixing up some paints. We're going to do pearl pours and Dutch pours and um, maybe, a few, maybe a cloud pour. I'm going to try to jam it all in for the month of December. A quick review. Uh, Shelly will work on the links for what tutorial week they were from so we can post those for you during the live in case you missed the original uh, tutorial. Oh, okay. So, um, I want to just thank you guys for putting up with my first take one with no sound. So that threw us off 15 minutes, didn't it? So I'm rec actually wrapping it up at an hour. So the colors again were the Gold Rush from Parash Posse. Champagne Shimmer. Be a champagne metallic for you guys. Uh, dark Chocolate would be a Van Dyke Brown. Uh, antique Copper. Uh, you could take some copper and add a little burgundy, or if you don't have burgundy, a little ultramarine blue and some red. That should get you there. And the Coral Reef Metallic. So that's just a mix of, I make it metallic, so you'd use gold with a little bit of orange, a little bit of yellow. Uh, to soften it up, you would add more gold. So that, that's it, guys. Those five colors and some white in your black cell activator. If you don't have Australian Floetrol, you can mix that black with glue. Elmer's glue. School glue. Not glue wall. Not clear, jet, clear glue, but you want the school glue because that does give you kind of the cell effect that the Australian Floetrol gives you. Bye, Donna. <laughs> Thanks, guys, for joining me tonight. I love you all. I got to go help Alan with puppies now, and I do have a lot of finish work to get done. I have some things that need to go out this week, and I don't want to keep hesitating on that because I really should have had them done already. <laughs> so boxes, boxes, boxes. I'm painting all the tops. I love you all, and I will see you all Saturday. I'm doing a premiere, and I'll be back here on Monday. Bye, guys. Don't forget Monday, puppy weigh-in. <laughs> love you all. Bye now.